guys Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl season 5 today we're going to be doing a trailer breakdown sorry that it's a day late I was just really busy at university these past two days so my review went up yesterday so go check that out if you haven't already but in today's video we're going to be breaking down the trailer for episode 7 titled Tremors also we're going to go over the crisis trailer again because they released a full version which we're going to be talking about a bit in this video and yeah, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first off, let's talk about Crisis and this trailer because the other day they released the trailer I made the video on the mobile version that they released and basically on the mobile version it's like a smaller sort of frame size so basically we didn't get everything in the frame that's actually you know there so yeah anyway so they released this full version online on YouTube like I don't know like a few hours later or something like that or like an hour later but yeah so let's talk about it so we get this shot right here where we have the lineup of our heroes in this massive pile of rubble like this is humongous so some sort of massive battles gone on for sure and I really appreciate everyone's memes online talking about how like this is Titan's first appearance, they're on Titan's Earth because of the colour, because you know they heavily graded this scene obviously, it's completely very much a green, which obviously Titans gets memed out for, so I appreciate those. Okay, and so we got Jean, he wasn't fully in the shot that we talked about before, he was only partially in, but we did notice who he was, we noted that it was Jean. Anyway, you can fully see him here, so he's teamed up. He's not actually in his Martian Manhunter getup. He's as himself. I'm guessing he's going to change into it. Anyway, so White Canary is behind him. Obviously, Legends is coming back for the crossover. They're coming back then before their show even returns in January, but the first episode is going to actually be Crisis on Infinite Earths. Okay, so we've got The Flash. We got Supergirl, both standing next to each other, you know, sort of the leaders of this group. Obviously, the big omission from this is Oliver. Oliver's not there, but we have Lex Luthor here, who actually returned last episode, last night on Supergirl, which is really fascinating to see that they brought him back for this. Also, they're bringing him back, you know, for Crisis as well, which is mad, and I can't wait to see it because I love John Cryer as Lex Luthor. And so we had no idea who this guy was, right? I literally had no idea, but people online have been pointing out that maybe it's Ryan Choi, you know, the new version of the Atom in the comics, and I think it more likely than not is. It kind of looks a bit like the actor. Some people were saying Spectre, but he doesn't really look like the Spectre actor. I would say he's probably Ryan Choi, who is a version of the Atom, and maybe he's going to be, you know, on Legends instead of Brandon Ralph because we know Brandon Ralph is leaving Legends this season. Okay, so the other person who was cut off from the shot was Batwoman. So Batwoman's in the shot. I was sort of expecting her to be in it. However, I really didn't think that anyone else was in it, to be honest, because we did not see her at all in that mini trailer. But anyway, so let's move on. So we got a better shot of Supergirl and the Flash right here them together in the mobile trailer it just went straight up to the flash and completely cut out supergirl which is a bit weird considering he's not right in the middle i don't know maybe they just altered that just for the mobile trailer anyway so we got a better look at some of these other shots some hd looks at batwoman green arrow and me and smoke obviously the new version of green arrow i don't know what that thing is on the right it looks like some sort of sign and I don't know what city they're in. However, in my trailer breakdown the other day, I think I said Oliver says suit up. And that was just me being stupid, thinking about what he says all the time. He doesn't say suit up in the trailer. Okay, so we've got some, you know, just better shots I'm going to show. Superman, obviously, Brandon Ralph, like I said, he's leaving Legends. But he's appearing in the crossover as Kingdom Come Superman. So that's very notable, that scene right here. That's our first moving look at him. Also, the Crisis logo. Here we go. Very HD. Take a look at that. Really great. Okay, so let's move on to talk about Supergirl Season 5, Episode 7, titled Tremors. 
So we'll break down the trailer in just a second. I'm going to read out the synopsis. Although I did a video on this the other day, I feel like the trailer doesn't actually give away a lot of what's happening in this episode, you know, apart from what's in the trailer. So this is how it goes. Sometimes the person you would take a bullet for is standing behind the trigger. Supergirl finally learns the truth about Lena while tangling with Leviathan. John Jones makes a discovery about his brother's whereabouts. Okay, so this is definitely going to link into Jean and, you know, him last episode sensing that Malefaic's powers were used. Obviously, we know that he was supposedly put in the Phantom Zone, but that's not true because we know Lena has it. So, he finds out about his brother's whereabouts. Where is his brother right now? With Lena. And also, what is the other part of the synopsis? Supergirl finally learns out about the truth about Lena while tangling with Leviathan. So maybe I think the way that they get to Lena and find out about Lena and, you know, her devious schemes, maybe they see, you know, what she's done to Eve and, you know, how she's hope now. And yeah, she will definitely see her villainous intent in this episode. And I think it's about time that we see this exposure because, you know, this has been going on since episode one of the season and it's going to be episode seven next week. So, yeah, she finally finds out about that, that's going to be a massive thing. Also, she's tangling with Leviathan, so she's going to be finding out a bit more. Maybe she gets some information out of Lena or something like that, but she found out about Leviathan last episode. So that's really important to note going into this episode. That is going to be a big part of the episode, Supergirl and Lena, and what's happening with Malefaic. But also, you've got this sort of side story this Kryptonian villain seems to have appeared. I don't know his name. I don't know if he's a villain from the comics, but he's not mentioned anywhere. Anyway, so we get to see him. He's sort of just got, like, some gear on. I don't know. He looks kind of like he's wearing, like, a sh suit of armor or something like that. Anyway, so Brainy, as per usual, I find it kind of annoying. Brainy, every episode, has some sort of speech about the villain. He's like, this is the villain, the most powerful villain in the world, blah, da, da. It's just a little bit boring, Brainy. Give Brainy something better to do than just be the person who is like, Yes, so this is the villain. The villain of the week. We're going to have to defeat them. You know, I'm the smartest. I know exactly where they're from. I don't know. That just kind of annoys me a little bit. But anyway, so Supergirl and Alex are there listening intensely at the DEO. This looks like Krypton, this next shot. Very, very intrigued. Because I don't know. It could be you know, a park on Earth, but it does remind me of Argo City, so I could be going crazy, but they talk about Krypton in this trailer, seems like this guy's a Kryptonian villain who you see on the screen right now, he appears, so I'm guessing this may be some, you know, Krypton flashbacks, maybe some Argo City flashbacks, very intrigued to see this, so Kara goes to Jean in the DEO, finally back, doing some training, Obviously, we haven't seen that since, I believe, Season 3 with mon -El. So, nice callback to those scenes back in Season 3. Also, next shot, we've got Jean. He's about to attack her because, you know, they are training together. So, Supergirl gets it in her fighting stance. She swings a punch right at Jean. Obviously, it's right at the camera. I really like this shot. It's in slow motion. looks really cool. We get the Kryptonian villain again. And what I found funny in the trailer was... They've got this shot of an explosion. Obviously, they did the explosion for real. But the funny thing is, it's so goddamn obvious this is not Jesse Raff. I think it might be Kyla. I don't know. It's harder to see with Kyla, but it's so damn clear this is not Jesse Raff. This is his stunt double. And then they finally cut right after, and you can tell they've switched it out. The explosion's gone off. Jesse's further away and he's coming and he's just doing a sort of dive in the air. I find that very funny. The fact that they think, oh, we're not going to notice that. But, you know, you know, I'll let them get away with it. But it's just kind of funny. Okay, so moving on to the next shot. We've got the Kryptonian villain. They're in the Fortress of Solitude. Kara says, welcome to Krypton. This is sort of what leads me to believe that, yeah, he's probably from Krypton. So they have a battle that ensues. She finally kicks him in the face and he goes flying over. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
I see red.